Welcome to Lab Pack Digital Notebook, powered by Lab Archives. This instructional video will cover the basic navigational features of this web-based notebook application. The notebook navigator is located on the left-hand side of your screen. This can be hidden at any time to dedicate the entire window to your entry area. Within the top navigational bar, you can search your entire notebook, view notifications and assignments, or view help and support material and gain access to the main drop-down menu. Please make sure to take the time to review all the documents and safety video located in the folders found in the left navigational paddle of the digital notebook prior to starting your experiments. Within the notebook navigator, you'll see the name of your assigned notebook, and below that you'll see a series of folders, subfolders, and pages into which your notebook has been organized by your instructor and lab pack. When you click on a page, the data for that page will appear on the right side of the screen, the entry area. All data is added as entries within your notebook. Lab pack has already pre-populated your notebook with certain entries that need to be reviewed, experiment, and then completed, assignment. To do this, open the experiment and work through the lesson. Then, download the assignment, a Word document, to your desktop by clicking the download link found in the bottom menu bar. Complete the assignment using your computer's word processor. Save the completed assignment. Then upload into your institution's assignment Dropbox or another location as instructed by your instructor. If uploading back into LabPack Digital Notebook, you will need to click on the attachment link within the bottom entry menu bar. Either drag the file into the entry area or click on the files button to add file. Once files listed, click save to page button. Of course, there are many other things that you can do with your Lab Pack Digital Notebook, and we've prepared a series of short tutorials available from the support menu. Simply click on Tutorials and select the ones that you would like to see. If you should have any questions, please feel free to email us for support. Thank you.